reggae musician Levi Roots arrived in the den with a product he had been cooking up in the kitchen and selling locally for 15 years, a spicy jerk barbecue sauce. He wanted £50,000 from the Dragons to turn that old family recipe into a nationwide bestseller. But would his pitch win over the hard-nosed investors? Put some music in my food for me and give me some reggae, reggae sauce. When I first saw Levi walk up the staircase, it was like a wow moment. Very different, great voice, and what a better way to advertise your product. reggae, reggae sauce. I don't think we've ever been serenaded before. And I don't know if it'll ever be tried again because it's a hard act to follow. And rice and peas and fish, put some reggae sauce on your lips. Thank you. Levi Roots had wowed the dragons with his song. All he had to do now was try and capitalize on his advantage. My name is Levi Roots. I'm looking for 50,000 for 20% in my reggae reggae sauce. Reggae reggae sauce is a hot to mild jerk barbecue sauce. Because I know where I'm going with it and I just want to be clear. I think that trying to get into this market, we know how competitive it is. To try and range run product is kind of almost impossible. So to let you know where I am, I like impossible challenges. and. <laughs> This is the first time ever I've actually started to sweat. And I don't know whether it's the sauce that I've just Join taken the club. <laughs> or actually whether it's what I'm about to say. Um, I would offer you half the money for 20%. I offered Levi half the money because I actually thought. Meet Terence and Trixie, the world's first and only ride on suitcases for globe-trotting tots. Toddlers can pack, sit on, and ride their trunkies, while parents can keep their kids in tow, quite literally, the child sitting on the case. The trunkies are lightweight and durable, made out of the same materials adult suitcases are. But to date, we've sold 20,000 units. Thank you for your time. Now, would anyone like to test ride a trunkie? I'll, go, I'll do it. Here we go. Have, have a go on, Terence. Are you going to pull me along? Uh, when he first came in, I actually thought it was quite cute. I loved it. I thought it was a really cute product. I could see how kids would enjoy riding on it. Bearing in mind you're putting small children on this, I mean, I saw you wheel it in a straight line. What happens mm -hmm. if it... Oh, OK. And then Theo got hold of it. The turning point in the den from uh, a good pitch to things tumbling downhill out of my control was when Theo got a little bit too aggressive with my pink Trixie suitcase. I did not expect the strap to break so easily, I've got to be honest. The moment Theo pulled that handle off, the whole integrity of the quality of that product was compromised. So I think you've done really well. Congratulations to get this far, but I just don't think it's a business opportunity. Okay. So I'm afraid I'm out. Rob, let me tell you where I am. You've got problems with the product. You've got problems that can be solved. Yeah, but you shouldn't come here with problems uh, uh, that can be solved without either identifying them or sorting them out first. And it, it drives me mad that we actually waste our time with these things. I too am out.